Hey, how you doing? Uh, let me make sure, yeah. I just wanted to make sure it was on. Uh, just let you know that, uh, I, uh, looked at some videos and watched a video where the dude took it off without a, without an impact wrench. What you do is, you know, this is how you do it. I'm going to show you in the video. I'm going to tell you something else too. But in the video, he took the ratchet and everything, put the bolt on it, you know, had made had the right size. And then what he did was he took a uh, rubber mallet and knocked it loose. And that's one way to take it off. So that's actually a good idea. And I could actually use my breaker bar so that way I don't mess up my ratchet. And I'll do it like, you know, once I get loose, then I'll put the ratchet on it so that way it'll be okay. But, um,. One thing, I, you know, I want to videotape that, and I want to videotape the stator, you know, taking it off, everything. And uh, I figured out with the videos, hold on a second. That's a little too high. With the videos, what I'm going to do is, uh, when I start doing projects and put them on YouTube, I'm going to get into more of the filming what I do, you know, as far as the labor part, you know, because I looked at the video, you know, it's mainly me talking and stuff, but I'd like to be able to show people exactly what I'm doing, so that way, you know, if somebody has an idea, or if they see something I do and it gives them an idea, you know, that would be helpful to them, you know, that would be good, and uh, I'm going to start doing that from now on, I should have been doing it to begin with, but wasn't really much you know except the main part was putting the motor in but i wasn't really i was bit too busy doing stuff to be able to video it and the actual i could have did it but i didn't think about it at the time but from now on i'm going to start putting videos of stuff i do and things like that and then i'll show hooking up the thing and spraying the uh uh fenders you all can see what that looks like so it'll be more than just one or two videos and 14. It'll be a good bit of videos this time for this project because I've been doing it for a while, about a month, a month and a week. And it'll probably be a month and a half by the time I get every, you know, the engine running. But once I get the stator, I'm going to put that in, put how it's supposed to go, and then do the wiring, stuff like that. You know, I'm going to have to get a thing of connectors from a probably have to get it from AutoZone or Advance and get the connector pieces you know the little tab things to connect together and you put on certain things and stuff what I was thinking about doing with the ignition switch if I can put you know how you take the flat face and you put it inside the other one I was thinking about taking that and you know like put it on there and I'll show you on the next video what I'm talking about but I have to get that but I have to wait till Thursday which is two days from now and do that so you know but like i said i'm going to start doing more videos of more detail of what i do just like when i get the uh uh, uh the moped thing i want to show about cleaning the carburetor out stuff like that and hopefully that'll work i hope if i can get it home driving it then i know it'll run so it probably just needs to be sprayed and you know run through and everything but i might just get some carb cleaner clean it out real good before i start it up and put everything back blah 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 but uh that's it and I'll, when i go to i'll try to do the uh take the flywheel off today we'll see if i can do that today and at least get the stator out so that way when i get the new one all i have to do is just put it in and everything's ready and I got to get something to put the bolts and stuff in so I don't lose them. And I should have something in the room to do it with. You know, a, top, a canister with a top on it. And I'll use that to put the uh, things in. I just have to remember where each one goes. But, uh, later.